We're going to cover three ways to add an image in Dragonfire SDK and one way to play a sound, so let's get started. Images and sounds for each project are stored in a folder called Assets inside the Debug folder. You'll want to separate images and sounds folders like I have here. Notice I have a background and a bubble image in my images folder and a pop sound in my sound folder. Let's add the background using view add. This is what it looks like in the help file, view add, file name, xy. So the image I want is images background.png and let's put 00, 0 for the coordinates. Notice I didn't have to type debug and I didn't have to type assets. All assets are assumed to be in the assets folder. So let's press F5 and see that that one line loaded the image and displayed it on the screen. Pretty easy. Now let's split up those steps and tell the iPhone to load the bubble image from memory and then display it on the screen. We'll do that with image add. We'll type image add images bubble.png. Now let's press F5 and see that image add didn't display the image on the screen. All it did was load it to memory. To display it on the screen we need view add which looks like this view add im xy. This im thing will make sense in a second. This version of view add takes an image handle so we'll have to apply a handle to the image add function. Real quick side note on how handles and variables work. To create a variable we'll go up here and we'll type int our variable. I'm gonna call this variable bub because it's for bubble. This is declaring the variable. Since we declared this up here it's available across my entire project. If I declare this inside of at main, it would only be able to be used in at main. If I declare this down here after its first use, I would get an error. So if I type 5 plus 5, of course that would equal 10. If I type bub equals 5 plus 5, then bub would equal 10. It's a bit strange that it goes from right to left, but the result of this gets stored into this. We can now add the result of the image add function into the variable bub by typing bub equals. Now let's populate the view add function with what we want. The image handle that we have is bub and we'll set the xy coordinates to 100 100. Now if we press F5 we'll see that the bubble image is now visible. The third use of view add makes this image clickable and it looks like this view add file name xy callback id. I'm going to modify the bubble image to make it clickable. We can name the callback anything we want. I'll name it on bubble and we'll just set the ID to zero for now. What we just said is that whenever the bubble image gets touched, do whatever is in the on bubble function. I've copied and pasted this callback from the help file. We'll change the name to on bubble. This int word like we used int up here is also a declaration. It's just declaring it as we're typing it. It's an inline declaration. And notice I'm declaring it up here before its first use down here. The code will execute this on bubble function. Let's add sound to it. Pop.wave is sitting in my sounds folder, but we need to convert it using wave to sound. Just drag any wave file or multiple wave files or even a folder of wave files to wave to sound. You'll see that this is created SND files to match each wave file. We'll load our pop sound using sound add. Usually all add functions will be in app main because this gets executed first and you want to load your assets right when your app runs. Now I'll type sound add sounds pop.snd. Now we want to play that sound when the bubble gets touched so we'll add sound play into the on bubble function. Sound play sh for sound handle. Notice sound play requires another sound handle. So we'll type int sh up here and add sh equals onto the sound add function. And now we're good to go. If we press F5, we'll see that the background is still there, the bubble image is still there, and if we click it, we hear the pop sound. Bubble Wrap has had millions of downloads in the App Store and you just created it in your second lesson in less than 10 minutes with Dragonfire SDK.